Chair calls Catherine Gannon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Chairman Price and committee members, thank you for allowing me the time to speak with you today. And for the record, my name is Catherine Gannon and I am also from Ennis, Texas. And I'd heard about Sam Harrell for a long time before I finally had the opportunity to meet him. So, And I am here in support of House Bill 810. Representing yourself? Representing myself, that is correct. Uh, nine years ago, I was diagnosed with um, rheumatoid arthritis. Came down with flu-like symptoms and extreme joint pain in my hips and knees and shoulders to the point that I, I, I also had to retire. I was ready to retire before that happened, but uh, this um, brought it on much quicker. And after my internist referred me to a rheumatologist, I was diagnosed with, with RA and I began a regimen of many, many daily prescriptions, including harsh drugs such as prednisone and methotrexate. And all of those drugs have other side effects to it. Uh, they didn't actually mask all of the symptoms and ended up going to self-injections of biologics and they didn't, you know, progress for a while and, and that didn't actually cover it either. So then we went to monthly infusions, which gave the opportunity to give more of the drug of, um, at one time. But those cost about $6,000 a month and uh, it's um, a burden. My husband, well, who was past retirement age, and he was also wanting to retire to be with me, but he had to continue working in order to keep our group health insurance to cover my infusions as well as the prescription drugs that they still had me on. So in late 2014, this was uh, several years after I was diagnosed, had a family member that was telling me about a um, clinic in Panama that was having great success uh, with rheumatoid arthritis through adult stem cell infusions. So I did some research on it as well, and they have a great website that, that has all of their research papers and everything in it. So I did a lot of reading, and I learned that there's about over 3,000 people that have been treated there for different conditions, and all of them without any serious side effects. So once I was accepted into the program and uh, had made my plans to go to Panama, I went in to see my rheumatologist and to explain to her what I planned to do. We had become very close at that point because we were seeing each other quite often. And she was really interested in the research, wanted to know more about it, and, but she did not try to talk me out of it. Uh, she knew I had made up my mind that I was going to go try this. But she did stress, if you go do this, I want you to come back and let me monitor how you're doing and let's just see what happens. So since that time, December, it's almost two and a half years, um, I went, well I do go back to see my rheumatologist every six months now and do the routine blood work. But I went off of all of my medications the, the week that I went down there. I had four infusions of stem cells over a three-day period. And like I said, I went off of all of my medications. The end of the week, I had not had any pain, pain meds, and nor was I in pain. So uh, my inflammation levels have remained very, very low. I've got greater mobility and less pain. Quality of life has improved. And most of all, best of all, my husband was finally able to retire. And since we don't have the burden of the, the medical cost. I don't consider myself cured because I don't know that. But at this point, I'm in remission. And I'm enjoying life and able to function much, much better than I was before. And if it comes back again, then I'll definitely consider going back to Panama. So I'd like to thank you all for your time today. Let me speak. Thank you for mm -hmm. your testimony. Members, any questions? Thank you.